Gonna look for those chests. I remember. I'm in here. Hmm. Notice that, uh, I might have forgot to turn on my mic in the last video. Same old shit. Me bitching about unresponsive controls. Me dying because of it. Me getting upset because of it. It's an angel's blessing as long as we win. I'm a zombie. Passing through. Listen, Lafayette. What is it? You can't trust her just because she said she'd protect you. Orders or no orders. Remember, Malakim are just tools to exorcists. But she really did protect me. I know you feel you owe her for that. But do you have to look so happy about it? Sorry. I'm not asking for an apology. I just want her to know that we've all got an eye on her. No matter how close you two get, I want her to understand that I come first. So... What do you want me to do? Let's see. To put it simply, I'm number one, and Eleanor is number two. Got it? I get it. You're number one, and Eleanor is number two. Right. I'm number one. Wait, this is kind of stupid, isn't it? It's yes, alright. I understand. Uh, that's not what I mean. A lot of life bottles, though. I'm gonna have to skip it for now and come back. There's a turtles in here somewhere. This switch does. What's that doing here? Oh, I think these were used to keep robbers away, like wards around old king's tombs. 
I've read about this. There's a trick to the stone. It reacts to heat. Heat, huh? Then there's only one thing to do. Motherfucker on fire. Couldn't go fight that boss if I wanted to. I did want to go in and steal all the loot in there at least.
Ten anyways. Looked like a shiny I could pick up, but I guess not. Take your motorcycle out, buddy. <laughs> no. Well, if you aren't the craziest demon, your body's harder than your own sword. Who's this? That's Lord Shigure, one of the only two legged exorcists in the entire abbey. A legate. Same as Melchior. We're very good to, I'm assuming. Eleanor! Fancy meeting you here. What the hell happened to you? You get captured by a demon? Or are you a turncoat? Uh, I... I'm... Eh, don't matter. I do my own thing. I got no standing to tell you how to live. Still, today's my lucky day. Never thought I'd encounter the one and only Stormquell. Shigure, I think someone over there wants your attention. He looks lonely. <laughs> You're right, I'm being a jerk. Just can't pass up the chance to tease my little brother. Can I, Rokuro? Obvious enough. Your brother? You haven't changed a bit, And Shigure. the one he wants to kill. You go blind, dumbass? I'm bucket load stronger now. You're the one who hasn't changed, I bet. You still hung up on trying to take me down? The one you want to beat in a fight? That's him? I'm not who I was that day either, brother. Oh, wait. You're a demon? Ha! <laughs> now it's getting good. But I wonder, has that really changed anything? When my real storm howl breaks your sad reject again, you gonna piss yourself like last time? I'll handle him. Laffy said, no matter what, I need you to stay out of it. Uh, all right. Oh, I think it's time to actually do something about his skills. Different things with each spot.
<laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! Come on now. Don't tell me you're finished. Oh. That went well. What about as I expected? I've not used this guy at all. Hell, I don't even have him on my team. Since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! Come on now. Don't okay. tell me you're finished. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up. You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time. What? Come on now. Don't tell me you're f <laughs> It's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up. You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time. I'll stop you. What? Come on now. Don't tell me. what his thing is. I assume he's armored, but I don't know that. Oh, it's the person. Very weak to hidden arts. <laughs> oh, it reset my shit for me. Oh, thanks. But it felt different. It's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! I'll stop you! You're shabby. I'll stop you! Come on, no, no, now. Back the menu. Don't tell me you're finished.
Changes here do stay. Changes middle battle do not. For what? <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! What? Slash! Hold on! See this? Slash! Come on now. Don't tell me you're. It's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! Killing Flash! But I'm this close! I won't miss! Form Zero! Thunder! Form One! What? Come on now! Don't tell. Yes, the only solution is to learn how to get good. Too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! Silence! I caught you! Come six vengeance! I caught you! Come vengeance! I caught you! Silence! I'm killing flash! But I'm this close! I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! I caught you! Form one! Damn it. Six. What? Silence. Silence. Six. Form two. Six. Two. Form one. Form two. Silence. Silence. Form two. Form one. Form two. Silence. Come on now. Don't tell me you're finished already. I guess dodging attacks with him does not restore life like it does with the main character. That might be a equipment effect. Thank you. 
<laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret my life last time! No escape! For one! Slash! Come on now, don't tell <laughs> It's been too long since we crossed the open afterwards. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! Killing flag! But I'm this close, I won't go! Form zero! Come on now. Punch. Don't tell me you're finished. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up. You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time. Come for more. Like, he's trying to go berserk mode. He does not do that. Come on now. Don't tell me you're. What? <laughs> it's killing Flash. But I'm this close. I won't miss. Form zero. Thunder. Form one. Form two. Form three. It's up to Form one. Six. Come. Six. 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 Slide coming. Come on now. Don't tell me you're. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up. You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time. For one. For one. Hurricane. Form two! Silence! Silence! Form one! Silence! Form three! Six! What? Silence! Caught you! Form one! Six! What? Caught you! I'm gonna use my missile guard. What? Silence! Come on now, don't tell me you're f That time I was completely bullshitted. Doing good until I wasn't. <laughs> it's been too long Six, since two. we crossed swords, Six, brother. Shut up. You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my Six, life last one. time. Six, Come on now, don't tell me you're f Meet combos with this guy. Six, <laughs> It's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. 
Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! Silence! Silence! Take caution! Killing Flash! When I'm this close, I won't hit! Form Zero! Thunder! Slash! Silence! Slash! Silence! Shake! Silence! Take caution! See this! Deception! Silence! Hey, hurricane! See this? Hey, watch! Form one! Hurricane! Form one! Form two! Six! Silence! Form one! Hurricane! Silence! Form one! Form two! Form one! Six! Silence! Come on now! Don't tell me that set. shit that stunned me. What? <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! Silence! I'm killing Flash! When I'm this close, I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! Watch it! Form three! Silence! Six! Silence! I don't get how it keeps hitting me when it's not hitting me. Maybe I have really, really bad depth Come perception. On now. Don't tell me you're f I dodged into that instead of away from it. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! Silence! Caution! Silence! For one! Silence! Caution! For one! What? Silence. Come on now. Don't tell me. Okay. I'm already failing enough. I don't need you to help. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up. You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time. Killing Flash. When I'm this close, I won't win. Form zero. Slash. Come on now. I'm not getting don't stunned at all. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! Okay. Damn it. Stop. 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 Not your controller, my controller. My controller. My life last time! Look Stop playing for five seconds already. Forget how the fucking guy works. Come on now. Don't tell me you're finished. Not that I had a great grasp on it to begin with. <laughs> it's been too long since reflected. we crossed swords, brother. Shut up. I must have a really you're tiny dead. window. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time. Come on now. Don't Even tell makes me you're the finished. you dodged noise and then it still hits. It's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! Killing Flash! When I'm this close, I won't miss! Form Zero! Thunder! Slash! Slash! What? Slash! Silence! For what? Slash! Silence! Caution! Six! For what? Six! Silence! What? Silence. Slash. Come on now. Don't Slash tell me you're finished. Fucking bullshit. Will not dodge it. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up. You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time. Slash. Silence. Silence! Form two! Form three! Slash! Silence! Hey, form two! Form three! Killing Flash! When I'm this close, I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! 
Come on now. Don't tell me you're finished. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up. You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my life last time. One, two. Come on now, don't tell <laughs> It's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! Oh. Come on now, don't tell me- I feel like my controller's dying. It's been too long since Play another game with the controller just to see. Shut up. You're dead. I'll make you regret sparing my I know my X keys a little or X buttons a little fucked, but everything else seems to be working fine. Except that in this game it is not so fine. It doesn't help that I still keep trying to go berserk, and that's not how he works. Don't tell me you're counters, not berserk. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! At the end of the combo, I just have the instinct to hit that button and do a better combo. Come on now, don't tell Flustered, I can't even get through a fucking menu. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! Killing flash! But I'm this close! I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! He let the mystic art stun him for a second. Come on now, don't tell me. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! See this? Still doing it. Hard to fight instinct. Come on now, don't tell <laughs> It's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! 
Kill me. This one's fucked. I think you regret sparing my life last time. Slash. Know that it auto guards. Come on now. Don't tell me you're. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! Take! Caught you! For one! Slash! Shake! Vengeance! Slash! Shake! Take! Well, caught you! Slash! No mystic art when I say to. Don't tell me you're gonna lose anyways, but it's still annoying when it doesn't go off. It's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! Killing flash! But I'm this close. I won't win! Form zero! Go berserk! Now what he does. Silence. 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 Come on, the counter man. did not go on. Tell me you're... Finally had a decent round. And it ends with an unresponsive control. <laughs> it's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! I can dodge on that one. Killing flash! But I'm this close! I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! That would be just stay there, but that's fine. At least he's still guarded. That looks stupid. Holy shit, I found the guy. Dusty as a demon. I like it. And that means I was so very close a few times. You didn't have to get him all the way fucking down. Well, I suck less with this guy now. I think our fight's over. Rokuro! What? My my body! I said stay out of this! We're just getting started here! No backing down for you this time, huh? But we're done for today. Sigurai! Oh, calm down, Rokuro. We could have a real fight sometime if you actually brought a decent sword. Go ask that old bastard there to make you one. I'll be waiting. Huh? Who? That demon in the armor, Kuragane. The blacksmith from the story. I'll be waiting not for apparent? you at Port Cadnix. Unless you can beat me, you ain't getting off this island. Who are you to decide that? You got a problem with it, lady? <laughs> Best of luck, you demons. You'll need it. Lord Shigure, sir. I'm on a high-level mission. Eleanor, babe, I get it. 
You've gone rogue. Have fun with that. I see you again. I'll kill you. He wasn't even trying yet. You can tell. But if we all fight him together... That won't work. But there is another way. What are you talking about? What way? Learn how to play the Follow game. Me. Instead of just one Rara. character. Velvet, aren't we going after him? This is his fight. It has nothing to do with me. But Shigure said he'd be waiting at the port. He may be a nutball, but I don't think he's fool enough to let us slip past. Exactly. And as a swordsman, he's even more skilled than Artorius, and that's saying something. We're mice with our tails pinned, and the cat's licking his lips. At the very least, Korogane seems to have some kind of plan. Fine. We'll hear what he has to say. Hey, now I'm a two-trick pony. That, that cat creature with Shigure. You mean Morgrim? She's a Moloch. She just looks different. And? And what? She has all the abilities of a Moloch. I'm not trying to keep anything from you. All I know is her name and that she's a Moloch. Huh. Lord Shigure is an exorcist legate, but he's also a warrior who can match exorcists or demons even without the use of Moloch arts. Since no one has ever seen Shigure use an art, Morgrim is considered one of the Seven Wonders of the Abbey. The Seven Wonders of the Abbey! No one knows Morgrim's capabilities, or even the details of Shigure's pact with her. No okay. one! Except me, that is! Huh? This is all highly classified, but... Morgrim is incredibly lazy. The price she demanded of Shigure for making a pact with her was... Grooming and defleeing! Anything else? Oh, and on a point of sensitivity, she's chubby, not fat. She may be our enemy, but she's also a woman. You should try not to hurt each other's feelings. Oh, that little kitty. Anything else? Her thick eyebrows are all the rage cat. with Malakim, so much so that false eyebrows are expected to be the next big thing. <sighs> well, if he's that strong without Malak arts, I don't want to see what he's like with them. But let me do it as Velvet next Take time. Take a look at this. Show them how Ifreed's crew can save. to go. What were you thinking, Eleanor? Attacking a legate like that? Uh, well... I just thought... Rokuro was going to die if I didn't intervene. Oh? You'd kill one of your own allies for a demon? I... I acted without thinking. Sometimes I'm too soft-hearted to a fault. I'd say it's less that, and more just stupidity. You're supposed to be protecting Lafayette. Don't get yourself into trouble you don't need. Even if one of our own is in danger? Even then. This kid must be really important to her. All right. I understand, Luffy said. Next time she acts up, stop her. Understand? We don't know what she's got up her sleeve. Uh, okay. Thanks for not telling on me, Eleanor. And I'm sorry I hijacked your body. I understand how it feels to want to protect your friends. The problem's with those demons, not you. But I think Velvet has the capacity to feel the same way, too. At least when it comes to her brother. Is that why you're staying with her? I'm... I'm not sure. It's hard to say. I have to figure out what's going on with this group. If I ever hope to wrest the child from them. Oh, 
Ow! I'm mean. I'm not petting you anymore. Cat went flip mode on me. My arm's always covered in scratches thanks to her. The fight without any uh, healing potions. Oh. I need to change out his armor, get him back to the stuff that's leveling up. But he's gone. Here's probably the path to the boss room. It's a really hard one. So they don't let you go yet. Starting to get a little lost. I guess that banded guy did say this is a maze. That's what happens when the legendary blacksmith Kurogane toils so hard, he forgets to die. I gave up everything, thinking of nothing else but forging a sword that could surpass Stormhowl. And before I knew it... You had traded your humanity for demonhood. I see I'm not the only one. So great was your grudge against your brother, the inheritor of Stormhowl. Well... Guess we're not so different. You don't suppose you could hammer me up a new sword, do you? I've forged countless blades over these long years, yet not one has proven a match for Stormhowl. And yet you still seek a Kurogane sword? I'll put it like this. No matter how much you've failed across the centuries, you've never broken. Well, I'm the same way. If anything can break Shigure and his god blade, it's the bitterness I carry. Strangely enough, it out. You're seeing a demon. you and your He'll brother has given me an idea that might work. I will forge you a new blade. Should we get some Brightstone? Nope. No need for that. Huh? Should I take it from the top? If you would. My arms are all I'll be needing. What are you doing? Don't be alarmed. I'm just cutting free some raw materials for the sword. You see something new every day. That's one you way to get ahead. Head to make the sword? That's right. With this fine clump of pure resentment, I shall forge your imitation storm howl anew. No. I only keep this imitation as a reminder of how weak-willed I was in the past. To defeat Shigure, I've perfected the art of dual wielding, a secret rangetsu technique. All right. If that's what you prefer, a pair of short swords it is.
We'll wait outside. In the process of making a proper sword can take, you know, months. I made Bianfu rush out to the docks to scout the place out. Pretty smart, am I right? I pity that creature sometimes. That Kurogane, though, what a character! Giving his own body to forge a sword, like some kind of ritual sacrifice. Ritual sacrifice? It's certainly something only a demon would do. It was a necessary sacrifice in order to gain power. A necessary sacrifice. What a vicious turn of phrase. Indeed. Still, I can't say I'm not thrilled to see how it all turns out. If what you give is mere meat for a god's morbid lunch, could there be a more trivial sacrifice? But if the offering is one's own body and soul, even a single hair can be portentous. I wonder which he will have been in the end. Rokuro wants to slay his brother, even if it kills him. And Kurogane had his own head lopped off just to forge powerful swords. Yes, that is a recap of what just happened. To go so far? It's just how they are. They're demons. Not exactly normal. Yeah, it's scary. But I also kind of admire it. But me, I don't have anything I'm that desperate to accomplish. Not yet, you mean. In time, you'll find something. You really think so? Bitches and money. certainly. But don't feel you have to go and risk your life over it. You're not a demon. And you should stay that way. You deserve a normal life. Okay. But never mind. Just the foolish ramblings of a demon girl. Rokuro. Kurogane. I just do not understand them. You saw them. Demons. We're crazy. Sure, but they go through life with such crystal clear sense of purpose. Even demons have things they're not willing to let go. Or do you think us mere animals, running around killing people left and right? I know, I know. I understand demons still have a certain consciousness, but I look at those two and they seem passionate, like normal people. Well, I've yet to meet a human so passionate he'd chop his own head off. Do you have a purpose like they do? I do, in fact. Ever since Artorius used my brother as a sacrifice. Typical demon nonsense. The Abbey exists to protect the people. Yes, sometimes cold, painful decisions need to be made to protect the many. But they never stoop to human sacrifice. Besides, as Shepherd, Artorius will cleanse the world of... If that's what you think, ask the precious Shepherd yourself. Ask him just what he did three years ago. He wouldn't. He'd never... Got a lady boner for him. The ship is on its way, right on schedule. Of course it is. They don't have the Reaper on board. One more thing. Apparently, Shigure is Artorius's bodyguard. So we'll have to face him down sometime, no matter what. It's in our best interest to get rid of him while he's working alone. The problem is, Rokuro can't beat him by himself. Agreed. Shigure is not to be trifled with. Certainly. That's why, when Rokuro creates an opening, we're going to take Shigure out. You want us to meddle in somebody else's private quarrel? If it affects my own quarrel, yes. <laughs> I suppose I'm in the same position. Besides, I can still use him. There's no sense in throwing his life away. Rokuro's not really a guy to care about the big picture. He might try to hack your limbs off a bit, but he'll get over it. Bad, bad news! A group of Praetors have left the dark! And are headed this way! They said they were coming to purge Eleanor the traitor! Purge? Velvet, what do we do? We take them head on. And you're fighting with us, Eleanor. An order, I presume. It is. Protect Lafayette. And defeat the exorcists. All right. I understand. Just remember, if we lose Eleanor, Lafayette will turn into a demon. I haven't forgotten. But we need to pool all the resources we have. She needs us for her own ends. And we'll use that to our advantage in this fight. Just don't push your luck too far, Velvet. 
And so recently was she a noble, upstanding young exorcist. How quickly one falls when entering Velvet's dark orbit. Ask me if I care. Do you care? Ooh, I want to go get the chest. Dungeon sucks, no plants, only two chests. Probably overlooked a plant or two somewhere. Seems unlikely that there'd be zero in here, considering how they've just littered the land. Praetor Eleanor, you should be ashamed of yourself, cowering to demons. Your collusion could spell disaster to the Abbey if left unchecked. The only possible atonement is your death. Uh, feels better. I 
can't I hear? Disgraceful. Like how my guard just dropped as soon as that spell went off. Huh, not that it would have helped. Apparently for a shitload of damage even guarding. I was gonna die anyways. I feel less annoyed. Yes, it was. Too late, but I need to be running, not blocking. Now, oh, what I should have been doing is berserking. I love when it stuns me as I'm spamming the goddamn berserk button, and it did it again. Forget the pain. 
Okay, we both dodged that, and we both got stunned. the people and sullied Artorius's ideals. No, that's not... <laughs> Velvet, she's testing me. I know I have to fight. My mission calls for it. But any more of this will kill them. Time for you to die and be purged! Eleanor! <laughs> I can't do it. I can't kill them. <laughs> I'm not done yet. There. Now we're even, Eleanor. You've got new swords! Sinister. I like it. I take it you're ready. Yeah. All that's left is to kill Sigure. With me as a witness. <sighs> I... I... Keep on fighting like that, and you'll be killed. And if you get killed... Luffy said we'll lose his vessel. I know that. Get a backup. Velvet, wait. You're... you're not going to kill them? I'm just not that hungry right now. Come, Paragon. I've got new orders for you. Fight the exorcists, but make sure they don't die. Understood. Very band of demons that doesn't want to hurt anybody. I guess that was as far as Eleanor could go. I think so. Push her any further and she's bound to break. <laughs> Ever the virtuous exorcist. That very virtue is what lets her be Lafayette's vessel. Besides, I can't help but admire her commitment. She's enduring total disgrace to accomplish her mission. How uncommonly pleasant of you. Pleasant folks don't use people the way we do. Yeah, you've got that right. Hey, Bienville? I was wondering if I could talk to you about something that's on my mind. I figured it was just about the time that you and I had the talk, actually. I've seen it all! Heard it all, and even tasted it all, in my time as a Moloch. Ask me anything you want. Thanks. I was hoping you could let me borrow those books you were reading earlier. If that's okay. You mean, how to talk a human female into becoming your vessel? And how to get the cuties? Hey! Keep it down! Keep it down! But you and Madame Eleanor have already formed a pact! Why do you still need either of those books? Well, it's like when we're alone together, things get so awkward. It's hard to talk with her, you know? <laughs> that happens a lot with Malakim and Vessels who are still new to the whole thing. I've been there. In that case, I've got an even better book for you. Whoa, 
You read a lot of books. I'm just an avid learner, is all. Now let's see. Oh, here we go. Hot spring topics, bearing your body and your soul. Being upfront and honest is always the best policy. I... I don't think we'll be bathing in any hot springs together. Do you have anything else? All right, then how about... After bath party games, dropping your defenses and your towels. Why do you keep trying to get us naked? I think that would just make things even more awkward. Oh, you've already Candy been inside her. Tell you what, you can just look at my collection and pick whatever sounds good. Love hacking. Living long and loving hard. Diary of a diary thief. Hands speak louder than words. Oh, diary of a diary thief actually I sounds like a good book name. Miss Mogilu and I were struggling to get along. Oh, to be young again. I'd read you that. ever think maybe things would have been easier if you never read these books? Reading the mood. Knowing what to say and how to say it. That one's a winner. A must read for sure. Are you two reading something together? We are. We are. Luffy said has been worried about that awkward distance between you two, and he came to me for some advice. I've heard his side of the story, so let's you and I grab some tea and talk about what to do about it. Come on! Let's go, let's go! Oh, okay. Knowing what to say and how to say it. I don't think this will help either. Scout. Good, good indeed. Oh, hello. Got caught slipping. You want me in? Purposefully shitty weapon. Save all that progress.
He's knocked out guys surrounded by monsters. They'll be fine. Rose. Have to go conquer fire demon and learn how to use firepower to use that. Hey Rokoro, why did he call your storm howl a reject? It don't well, work. See, when blacksmiths make swords, they don't just make one at a time. They make a whole bunch. The best one of them all is the one that gets presented to the swords commissioner, while the rest are tossed aside. Huh. I didn't realize the standards were so high. The head of my clan gets the real Storm Howl, and his siblings get the remainders. So one is real, and the others are imitations? I guess so. Shigure has the real one, and... Yeah, guess that makes mine an imitation. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to imply... Don't apologize. You got me to finally realize something. It might just be why I'm so hung up on beating him. And to Velvet? Which Luffy said is real? And which is the imitation? Oh, what are you saying? She means my name. It's the same as Velvet's brothers. Huh? The one who went and got sacrificed by Artorias. Surely you are mistaken. Our shepherd would never do such a thing. But what else could make Velvet hate Artorias so much? I... I don't... So you have a truth, Herpes. and Velvet has a truth. Now which is the real one, and which is the imitation? Uh, uh. Hey, there's a plant in here.
go through. Like this. You and Shigure both use the Rangetsu style. But to me, it looked like you both fight completely differently. Why is that? Our school encompasses two distinct forms. To the outside world, we're known for fighting with a single great sword. But we also study dual short swords should need arise. So, Shigure uses the great sword, and you use the short. In most schools, wouldn't the secondary technique be used primarily in support of the first? That's true for us as well. We learn the dual short swords to provide sparring partners for those studying the great sword. Then why would you handicap yourself against Lord Shigure? He's no mere swordsman. As I'm painfully aware, Shigure is a true master. We trained together since we were small children. I was his sparring partner for ten years. <sighs> his skill with the great sword is godlike. So, in order to beat him, I took up the short blades. To our school, it might be secondary, but it's what I know best. You're badly disadvantaged in reach. If I eliminate my fear, I have a chance. If I can control the terror of being split in half and I can step inside his guard, he'll have two times the trouble. Eliminating fear, huh? A style for someone who's lost his humanity. Right? It's like you two brothers are the very swords you carry. Huh? Storm Howl, a godlike sword known to all as the strongest there ever was. Storm Quell. Burdened by the ceaseless struggle to best the other! One, an exorcist who walks in the light. One, a demon moving through the shadows. The only thing these two polar opposites want... ...is to cut down the other. Precisely! Both are renowned blades. But I don't see what exorcists and demons have to do with it. Oh, really, nothing. But I saw a plant, and it's just a bug. Right into the town. Out, and I have nothing else. of loop. There they are. 
Which must mean they took out every one of the exorcists who went after them. Hey, I told them not to bother. Now how did that sword of yours turn out? <laughs> Fine. I'll find out for myself. Rokuro, we can handle the exorcists. Go and find your victory. Thanks. All right. Let's get down to business. Not bad. You better not die too quickly on me. I want this to be fun. Come on, bro. Don't hold back. Shut up! Don't play games with me! Ones died. They're, they're both on me. Sending some my way would be nice. Oh, 
thing that I'm trying to do. Hey, there it is. Berserk button and it doesn't goddamn berserk. I understand you don't just tap it, you hold it for a little bit. You know how it works, I'm not just doing it wrong. I've used it how many fucking times? With the Mystic Arts, I know you hold it for a little bit and it has to be mid combo. I'm not using that wrong either. Into that like an idiot. That was wrong to me. Fine-looking swords you got there. Take a good look, because they're going to cut you down. Yeah, that's right. Get into it. Keep it up. I love it. Shabby. No escape! No escape! For one! For one! For two! For three! Oh, that's just not good! 
Wait, he wasn't even in. You put up a good fight. I'll give you that. But you're a frickin' demon. Shouldn't you bring more to the table than pretty damn good Rangetsu style? You don't have what it takes to win against the rightful heir. Don't count me out. Just yet. I've got something to show you! It's my dick! <laughs> Now that was clever! Giving up one of your own hands to go for my neck! If I was just a second slower, I'd be dead now. I like it. This is what I've been looking for. All right. Let's call it good here. Listen up! If you all want any hope of beating me, come find me once you're more skilled and better armed. <sighs> I'll cut you down. No matter how many times I lose. No matter how many years it takes! Will you, bunny boy? There we go. That's the face I'm looking for. So vicious. It's perfect. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Shouldn't you be worrying more about your own skin? The entire Abbey knows by now that you're a traitor. <gasps> that guy, he was really strong. Yeah, he was. They all are. But we will beat him if we must. No matter what it takes. <sighs> the Von Elty is here. Let's get going. Please, take me with you. I'll make a sword that surpasses Stormhowl yet. I know I will. But for another blade to beat Stormhowl, its wielder must be a swordsman of unmatched skill. Hey, Eisen. Got any room on this pile of wood scrap for a suit of armor? If not, make someone wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. You heard him, Kurogane. Many thanks. Okay. We're off to find Grimoire and decipher the book. You know where we're going, right, kiddo? Yeah. We're headed for the Isalt Archipelago in South Gand. On the ship just yet. I'm not done in this town. Scout ship.
Yeah, you can be my little Morgan. Morgan. So you guys made it. Whatever happened to that sword breaker? Your buddy now. Dealt with. What are you doing here? After everything you said to me, I had a change of heart. I quit banditry. Thank you. I'm glad you listened to reason. What do you plan on doing from here on out? I'm heading to the capital. I plan on opening a restaurant for bandit cuisine. Bandit cuisine? Yeah. You get your hands on all sorts of food as a bandit. You gotta use what you have and still make a tasty meal. Like a wild mushroom omelet minus the eggs. Or highwayman stew. It's like a hunter's stew, but, you know, made by bandits. That sounds... somewhat improper, actually. But I'd still love to visit after you open. Really? All right. I'll be an upright citizen in no time. <laughs> Maybe even the kind of man you'd consider spending some time with. I'm rooting for you. Hey, were you actually listening to him? Of course I was. It's wonderful he's turned over a new leaf. Also hit that. Uh... Well, some righteous pussy. Yeah. Velvet's demon hand. It's such a mysterious weapon. I can only imagine how much of a threat it will become to the Abbey. This calls for a clear-headed breakdown of everything I know about it so far. It changes shape in a flash, and could devour most anything. How must that feel, to devour something with your hand like that? But it doesn't devour the bandages that cover it up. Maybe they're protected with some sort of special art? Likewise, the rest of her outfit can't be ignored. One would think she wouldn't want to wear such ragged clothing, yet she clearly has no inclination of buying something new. I suppose that could be taken to mean she has some sort of attachment to it, but that top is really big for her. Like it was made for a man! Maybe she wears that outfit in memory of someone important to her. I'd better not touch it then. I know I may not look it, but I really am good at sewing. Maybe I should suggest mending her clothes rather than outright replacing them. On the other hand, that fabric looks like it would be hard to push a needle through. I could be in over my head. But the tougher the fight, the more I get fired up! Of course, Lord Artorius would probably scold me if he heard me talking like that. Who'd scold you for what now? Oh, uh, well, I was thinking about sewing! I mean, your clothes, they're all beat up, and I thought that if I offered to mend them for you, you'd probably scold me, wouldn't you? You'd mend my clothes? Have they been worrying you that much? I mean, not like constantly or anything. It just crosses my mind from time to time. Are you good at it? Yes. I'm told I come across as awkward sometimes, but if nothing else, I'm good with my hands. I see. All right. If I ever need it done, I'll come to you. Good. Just leave it to me. Are you feeling all right? You're really sweating. The heat and the cold doesn't bother me at all. But you're a human, so you need to take care of yourself. And if you keep soaking in your own sweat, you'll catch a cold. Besides, I don't imagine it feels that great. You should keep washing and bathing on your own schedule, like however you did before falling in with us. Just let me know and I'll make it work. Because the guys aren't considerate enough to stop and ask you if you need to. Sure. Alright. Thanks. In other words, bitch, that you stay. That was a surprisingly normal thing for her to say. I probably shouldn't bother with her clothes for now. We girls have to be considerate of each other. You there. That's one impressive sword you got. You know a lot about swords? I'm a novice swordsmith. Been at it for 20 years. Now I'm finally able to make a blade worthy of the name. 20 years? And still just a novice? It's a competitive world out there for a swordsmith. Especially here on this island. But I heard many swordsmiths have given up. 
There's less ore around nowadays, and swords don't work against the demons. True, swords are useless against demons. Unless it's an exorcist that's using them. Kednick's weaponry has always been prized in Midgant. The Abbey recognized our talents, and now, business is booming. All the smiths here are grateful to the Abbey. They're keeping all of us alive and fed. I saw a tonberry for a second. Whoa, what? I did not. Into. A fan of soccer. Especially warm. It's also good if you mix it with plum wine. Plum wine's a little too sweet, sake's a little too bitter. Mix them together, you get the best of both worlds. Also like slow gin, which is basically plum wine. Plum gin. Did you need something? No, not really. As you say. Why aren't you training with two swords? This is how I've always trained. 10,000 practice swings a day since I was a kid. I just wanted a single good swipe at Shigure. So I swung and swung, and eventually just naturally got to this point. That's incredible. Not really. I need to be prepared to face Shigure at any moment. But I've been thinking I should up it to 100,000 swings. 100,000? Do you have any idea how much time that'll take? No. Nah. <laughs> Even if you did one swing a second, you couldn't do that many in one day. Oh? But ten swings a second would do the trick. Rokuro. Even still, I know it would take more than a hundred thousand swings to be a match for Shigure. Not with one sword or with two. And you keep doing it despite knowing it's pointless? That seems a little odd. I'm trying to defeat an undefeatable adversary. The whole damned idea is daft, as you put it. All I can do is recognize the fact and give it my best shot. Well, that's one way of looking at it. If only I could figure out how to stay up all night and still feel rested. Now there's a challenge I can't beat. You need to go to bed. A lack of sleep will get you killed faster than a lack of practice. <laughs> You're right. I'll do that. Anime was it where the dude trained himself by just punching faster and faster until he could do like a hundred punches in a second or something like that. Definitely an anime where that was a thing. explain in better detail what the things are it costs a shitload I wonder if I'd missed the path to it Eyes 
Listen, I thought you were supposed to be in Midgand. How did you end up here in Islegand? I thought I'd gotten used to you performing the impossible, but this time, I'm at a loss for words. We heard from the Bloodwings that the Abbey might have taken you guys out. Not this time, but our luck won't last forever. Think of this as a dry run for when I really kick the bucket. Aye, aye, first mate. More importantly, are you sure it's okay to bring an exorcist aboard? I've got my eye on her. If she does anything funny, I'll handle it. Got it! We'll be on our guard, too. Right. Can't go all the way back yet. But we'll do a run through of older stuff to go grab some herbs and whatnot. I gotta say, you guys look less like pirates and more like a circus troupe. Have a bird on your head. Are you alright with having demons on board, Benwick? Not remotely an issue. If you're aboard this ship of misfits, you're a pirate. Oh, that's God, just our creed. Hair. At least, that's what the captain and the first mate always say. Speaking of the captain, what's Eifried like? Hmm, let's see. How do I put it? He's like if the sea were a person, and that person had a pointy beard. Huh. Uh, a bearded sea? Look, everybody on this ship is an outcast from society in some way. Despite that, Captain Eifried accepted us for who we are, and took us all on board. So he's... a kind man. Well, would you say that the sea is kind? How would it feel to dive in with an open wound? It would sting... a lot. Quite so. Some days he's calm and steady. And others, he rages. He can be shallow, deep, even a whirlpool. Sounds like he's a little scary and hard to read. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to serve him. But that air of mystery keeps us around and makes us want to take those jumps. At the end of the day, the dread pirate Van Eifried is one hell of a guy. He sounds like Velvet in a lot of ways. Wait, what? How so? Uh, I didn't describe him right at all, did I? Hmm. Benwick, we're changing course at once for Port Renied. Sir? What's going on? Three of our men have collapsed from the Corsair Scourge. They first showed symptoms three days ago. How are you holding up? I'm still doing all right. But if this really started three days ago, that means we're all carrying it, doesn't it? That's what I'm afraid of. But if we head straight to Port Renied, we should be able to get medicine there. I'll check on everyone's condition. Make sure everyone stays hydrated, including yourself, understand? Sir, yes sir. All hands, assume emergency positions. The crew's holding up well for a bunch of folks at death's door. What do you mean? Is this Corsair scourge fatal? Quite. No one knows what causes it, but it starts with a high fever and ends up with the body falling apart like sand. Like sand? Once, there was a great band of pirates who ruled the seas, but the disease spread through their ships and killed every one of them. That's why it's called the Corsair Scourge. Does that mean we've been infected as well? You humans, for sure. Only humans fall prey to the Corsair Scourge. Then it could have gotten to you too. Right, Moggy Lou? Oh, r right. <gasps> Alas! That my glorious saga shouldn't meet such an ignominious end! I can't allow our vessel to die from this. If you start to feel ill, speak up. I will. All right. We'll all be helping out in the search. Everyone but Eleanor, that is. Huh? Oh, why does she get to stay? I might be dying too, you know! You're a witch. Magic yourself healthy. Now quit whining and get going. Not even a witch is safe from the ravages of the Reaper's Curse! The Reaper's Curse?
door. Okay, where's the herbalist? If I remember right, the Corsair's Scourge needs a particularly special medicine. Yeah, it's a wildflower called Salatoma. Its juice can cure the Corsair's Scourge. Let me guess, they're going to be out of it tricky. and we have to go find let's it in some cave with the monster. In hand. Right, now let's get going. Hold on a minute. Won't you just be spreading the disease if everyone wanders into town? Surprisingly, no. For whatever reason, you can only catch it over the ocean waves. It's speculated it might have something to do with the salt in the air, or maybe the microbes in the seawater. Nobody knows the cause for sure, but there are no recorded cases of people catching it on land. I see. A strange affliction indeed. We'll be back soon. You all remain on the ship. All right. Good luck out there, sir. We've got to hurry. Solitoma. Is this really going to be necessary? What do you mean, Eleanor? Oh, nothing. It's just... Well, the herb is known to work well for fevers and the like, but... It tastes bad. So bad. Some say it would even bring a demon to the brink of tears. Maybe so. But better to drink it than to die, right? Oh, I'm not worried. It... It just reminded me of stories from my childhood is all. The map's getting filled in little by little. There's still a long way to go. It's a big world out there. Yeah, that's true. And a lot can happen on the waves. The far seas are unexplored territory for a reason. I'd imagine so. The seasons and the weather can change the sea completely. Oh. Do I sense a budding interest in the sea? Think you're feeling less apathetic about it now? I wouldn't say that. I was just reminded of something someone once said to me. Rokuro, always telling all of us except Eleanor to work harder. Doesn't he realize that I'm a delicate maiden too? This is workplace discrimination. I should put him on a witch trial and burn him at the stake. I don't think that's how witch trials work. Nope, they drowned him. <laughs> What's wrong, Eleanor? You look like you've got something on your mind. I'm just trying to figure out what Rokuro was thinking. When I had Lord Shigure at the end of my spear... Rokuro threw his dagger right at my head. I thought I was dead for sure. I feel like I saw who he truly was, and it frightens me. But he and Lord Shigure are always trying to kill each other. I can't understand why he did what he did. It might have something to do with his Bushido code. What's Bushido? Is that like a sword fighter's code? It's a way of thinking. Be loyal to your lord. Respect your parents. Protect the weak. And act with honor. You're saying that he was following this Bushido code, and he was protecting me because I was weak? He might have turned into a demon, but his memories and personality are still intact. I doubt his moral values have disappeared either. Do you really think he believes in that Bushido stuff? Carving through his enemies with a cruel and unsparing sword! Slash! Pow! Shazam! That's the true nature of a Rangetsu man! I heard that when Velvet first met him, he immediately attacked her without any provocation. I'm sure you haven't already forgotten how he turned his swords on the kid in that fight against Kurogane. I wouldn't read too much into what Magilu's saying. Rokuro lives for his sword, and that's just who he is. But I don't think he's all that bad. I thought you were the one who called him frightening. I know I said he can be a scary person, but... How do I put it? I do feel there's more to him than just wanting to cut people up. It's like... He's more sensitive to other people's emotions than he might seem to be at first glance. A sword fighter has to sense his opponents on some level, right? For a crazed demon, he's actually a nice guy. Is that it? Maybe. I don't know. It's not like I know him well enough to claim any deep personal insight or anything. You brought it up. We should use the great sword instead of the two little daggers. I'd probably actually use him if he used the sword on his back.
A bit ago. A manacled body got caught in my nets. Manacled? A prisoner? You too? Yesterday, my nets pulled up an arm. Manacles, even a brand on that one. I really can't take this anymore. I'm losing my appetite, and it's bad for my heart. You said it. Judging by the tides, they would have to have come from that prison island. Is it really just a prison? You think it's strange, too? I've suspected something about that place for a while now. They say the whole island is a prison, but if you ask me, I bet it's just an execution ground. Or it's for experimenting on demons. Experimenting? What do you mean? Testing the demons' capabilities. That's why they need prisoners. Food for the monsters. Not a bad theory. <laughs> Just kidding! There's no way the Abbey would do something that horrible, right? <laughs> <laughs> you sure think of some crazy ideas. I bet all of this is the work of some vicious pirate gang. Yeah, something like that. That guy... he's pretty sharp. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen any patrol ships around there recently. Used to be they'd chase you off if you got too close. You know you're right. If there are pirates about, it'll mean trouble unless the Abbey tightens up their patrols. The best we can do is keep a wide berth of it for now. We wouldn't want pirates and demons sneaking up on us. I think we'd notice if pirates or demons were around. <laughs> no way they'd catch us unawares. I can't tell if he's sharp or dull as a brick. I think it's time for a break. I only ate one meal today and I'm getting close to bedtime. It's actually past my bedtime. It's 9 a.m. I'm to sleep, but I'll probably be back. Probably. <laughs>